Hello everyone, welcome back to the garden. Me and CA's back out here. And after last week's successful riding uh, and testing on the small line. Motivation is at an all time high to get this big line finished. It's looking pretty nice. Um, a couple weeks ago we did the roll in, we shaped up the first and second looking real good. And we did do the start of this berm but uh, we got a bit excited testing the small line last week and where it leads into here, it's still a bit soft, but um, we've got a few things to fix up in there. Um, so today we're gonna fix up this berm um, and then we have a lot of tidying up to do down, um, down this bit here, which would be a good thing to do. As you can see, it's in a nice rough shape from the digger going all down there to the last jump, but it's very far from being rideable. But first job is to get this berm from this ratty, horrible, rutty, bumpy, rooty, leafy pile of dirt into a beautiful riding surface. So first of all, we're gonna have to go through, ax out all these big deep roots and stuff that we can get the digger, rake it all smooth, get it into the perfect shape, and then pack it in. There's a few holes in this berm, or a few little bits that we need to build up anyway, and um, we're struggling to stick the dirt on, which sometimes happens if there's a bit of a surface. So if you put the dirt on there, it kind of sticks, but not really. So good technique if you want to build up a bit. This works for takeoffs, landings, uh, anything really. If you just sort of use the spade and chop up that top layer, because it's usually the top layer being sort of smooth that means the dirt won't stick to it. But if you give it a little chop up like that, make it all rough and uh, it's annoying because it makes it look all soft and rubbish, but then the dirt should stick a lot better and you won't get any more layers because sometimes you get layers and if you put a layer on top of the smooth layer, it can sometimes crumble off if it dries. But this way, you'll stop that from happening. So that's what we're doing. And um, yeah, working our way along this berm, starting to look good. Oh, doesn't that look good, CAs? Oh, it's looking buttery smooth. <laughs> it's looking proper buttery biscuit. But we're now on this end part of the berm, um, and CAs actually come up with quite a cool idea. Because we have all these logs from um, previous episodes of cutting down a tree that was in the way, and because this is kind of the gateway through to the garden between here, we thought we'd make it into a really nice beautiful gate using these logs. So CA's idea was to sort of dig them in like that, support the back of the berm, and then we can have like a nice sort of loggy wall. Um, that's the idea anyway. No idea if it's gonna look cool or not. Gonna go for uh, CA's vision here. And uh, well, we're gonna try anyway, aren't we? See how it looks. Could be a waste of time, or it could make it look very, very nice. We and will see. Also, it's never a waste of time if you're having a good time, CA.
okay, looking pretty cool, huh? Now we just need to secure them in, so they don't blow over in the wind. <laughs> and then, square all this up. Then in a minute, we're gonna chainsaw them all perfectly flat, and it's gonna look amazing. Uh, we are gonna put a little front on it as well, so it's like a little cage. Um, yeah, cool. Nice, so the cage goes all the way around. Looks a bit janky at the moment, but I think that'll look really cool once it's um, all in the right shape. We just need to use all that dirt on the outside to fill in this corner, build out the top of this takeoff. And that's gonna look wicked. Nice. CA's, as always, dedicated to the cause. Hacking it in. Hacking it in. Nice. See it coming together now. Yeah, it's looking smart. Let's um, make it look really smart and try and whip the top off with the chainsaw before we've shaped it all. Because yeah, you don't really want to dip your chainsaw in the mud because it makes it blunt. So before we've got it at full height and shape, I'll whip them off and then we can line it all up, make it look nice. Pretty nice. That is pretty cool. I say that's as good as we're gonna get. I've just uh, whacked in a couple of supports quickly, just where we're backfilling. It's obviously pushing the logs out, so uh, hopefully they'll hold it in place until the berm sets. What a nice little gated entrance into the. Uh... What a great idea! <laughs> you just got to do the landing as well, now. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. This looks a bit. Yeah, that's the next one. We got all these logs, we might as well use them there. I think it's quite cool. Makes me kind of want to do the last landing as well out of it. Well, we still, we've got another 20 meters and then we're there, I'd say. Nearly well. there. And then we'll be riding. Closing in, yeah. <laughs> then we've got to make a den, really, haven't we? We've got to make a shack. Well, the wooden kicker. Wooden kicker's gonna then be- Then the shack. <laughs> wooden kicker shack. Yeah, we'll make a shack when the line's done because then we're going to need some serious hangouts and barbecues. Oh, that berm does look pretty nice. Ooh, having a bit of a rummage. Yeah, well... well. It's mini egg season. <laughs> Literally three months, maybe four, like Boxing Day to Easter. It's mini egg season. It's my favourite snack, and it's gutting that it's only sold for a quarter of the year. I wish they had <laughs> sold all year round. You're gonna have to stock up. Yeah. Here's a little chocolate egg, sugary coating. Thanks, yeah. No worries. Mmm. Good snacks. Good. So we're back out here again in the garden after a week off. The berm's still looking pretty amazing. We've had a couple rains and um, yeah, it's not flooded or fallen down. Now, time to do the same thing and make this look good. So first things first again is to dig a little trench around to make this cage out of logs to lodge them in the ground. We've dug down a little bit of a deeper trench than on the last one. We learned they're a bit wobbly. So these ones are down a bit deeper, should be a bit stronger. Now that we've got three in place, we kind of just need to build up from there. We're gonna start in that top corner. 
and work our way around. It's gonna look good. Whoa, watch out. <laughs> We got a bit of a cage, haven't we? Yeah, you don't want to be cased in this side. No, <laughs> no. Um, we're going to leave this inside because we don't know exactly what shape the landing is going to be yet. We just got a rough sort of pile, so we're going to make it. We're going to saw off the tops at a rough kind of shape, and then build the landing up to that, shall we? We did it the other way around with that, and it was quite difficult to trim the logs off to the perfect shape. So if we do the logs first and fill it up with dirt, I think that might be easier. Hey. So now we've got a better idea of what shape this side is going to be. It looks like we might need to mellow out the landing. So CA is digging sort of all this excess dirt we've got over there. And he's going to put it in this sort of belly, build out the dirt here. And now I'm going to finish off this little corner of the cage here. And doesn't it look cool? So smart. So we just need a couple more down here. So I've cut them with a bit of a spike on the end. Then I can just hammer them in to the right height. Should be quicker. Um, what's that t-shirt then? It's, uh, snack <laughs> are they available now, are they? April 2nd. We're launching April 2nd. <laughs> CA.UK. If you're a CA fan. And buy a snack dealer t-shirt. And what's the money going to go towards? A drone. A new drone a new for FPV around the garden. Other colours are available. <laughs> in case you don't like white. It's only black, that's the only other. <laughs> so you need. <laughs> other available in black. <laughs> Actually, I've got a present for you. Carry on recording. Oh no. <laughs> Good old CAs. It's for when you're not a snack dealer. <laughs> it's cool, but it's not snacks. <laughs> there you go. Is that a present for me? That's a present for you. Thanks, yeah, I'll wear it with pride. And eat your snack stuff. Made from 100% organic cotton. Brilliant. There you go. It's cool. But it's not snacks, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the tea. No worries. Wicked. So we've moved all the dirt around. The uh, little cage around the side is finished. Now all we got to do is slap it in really, hey? Doesn't that look great, CA? Oh, it looks absolutely beautiful. Fantastic job. Let's um, take the sticks off here, see if it survives. <laughs> then we can get some Hopefully. nice dronies. Hopefully it doesn't fall down. There's one. <laughs> Good. Oh. Wow, and there it is. The new gateway into the trails. What CA's bought. What do we have here, CA's? It's a little Swedish fire log or Swedish candle. Okay. It's just basically a log with a load of chainsaw bits. Thanks. But when you pour a little bit of petrol inside. <laughs> have you yeah. done this before or is this all yeah. theory? This is all theory. Ooh! 
<laughs> then it, <laughs> then it should just burn nicely from the inside. Well, that is fantastic. Let's have a little lunch break, sit down, and enjoy the fire. Yeah, just CA there, raking out the finishing touches. Let that grass go back yeah. beautifully for the garden. Ta-da! Ta-da! <laughs> Isn't that sick? Well, next episode, we're right on the, uh, we're on the final straight, aren't we? But actually, the weather's looking good this week, so I reckon we might be able to get a ride in, whether that's on the small line. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Or up on that big jump up there. I think we're going to be hitting that pretty damn soon. Thanks for all the comments as well, guys. Me and CAs love reading through them. I like everyone's enjoying the snack, so I'm trying to find nice, uh, nice exotic ones for you. <laughs> yeah, if there you go. If you any suggestions, let me know, because I'm starting to run out of ideas. <laughs> <laughs> we all know that's a lie. He's not running out of ideas. So yeah, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks to everyone for watching, as always. Goodbye from CA. Goodbye. <laughs> Cheers, guys. See you on the next one.